Hey guys, it's John. Welcome back to Casey Farms. We are just back from our farmer's market. Had a great day out there. Um, came back to the barn and we have piglets. Chloe is having her litter. This is our second summer litter. Let's head out to the barn and check what she has so far. All right, we'll swing by Delilah here. How old's Delilah's? Three days? Yeah, I think Delilah's are three days old. They are doing great. Everyone's still alive and thriving. Um, but we'll come down here and check out Chloe. She's got two out so far. We were just getting ready to go feed after we got back and uh, she was obviously having piglets. We've got one ginger and we've got one cream tucked up in there. They are doing well. They're just, the ginger one was still wet when we came out, so just had, I think, him, that's a boy. The ginger one's a boy. The white one tucked in there, we'll show you here in a little bit, is a girl. And uh, so just like all of our other pig birthing videos, we're gonna sit here and follow along and uh, see how she does. So let's see how many piglets we end up with Chloe. guys update we've missed a whole lot of them we'll tell you why here shortly actually we basically missed them all but there are six out right now everybody is doing good we have two girls and four boys um, one placenta is passed so we could have some more in another horn uh, we've got a good story for you here in just a little bit um, but everyone is doing good we had to put the camera down because we had to fix some things. So two girls, four boys, we'll stick around, see if we can catch any more that come out. All right, guys, what a crazy experience. Wish we could have caught more on film for you, but we weren't able to. We'll head in here and check them out. Uh, see what's going on out here first. Here's Delilah. Well, everybody went back in. Her piglets are three days old and they've been hopping out of here and uh, exploring a little bit outside. So pretty cool. But anyway, man, huge thanks. Jamie's mom is here for a lot of these, here to help out, support. Uh, and uh, we had some issues. Brooklyn's out now checking out the pigs. We had some issues with, with Chloe. I think I mentioned earlier, she had two piglets and then it was two and a half, maybe close to three hours. Let me clean you guys up here. But uh, watch the video, guys. We decided we needed to go in and uh, help her out. And I am glad we did. So what happened is this big boy right here. So 50% of the time, they'll come out feet first. And the other 50, they come out head first. Well, when I went in the first time, all I could feel was a tail. And its legs were facing that way so it was having a hard time coming out usually the legs will be facing out and they'll come out when they come out feet first they come out that way well 
This one was kind of bent with its legs this way, and I could just feel its tail, but you're always nervous to go in. Um, you want, that's their last resort, really. But uh, we saw a video, we're sitting out here Googling it, and uh, saw a video how their legs will face this way, and you gotta go up and push them back in the canal, and then grab those legs, so they're not this way. If my fingers are making a good diagram, grab those legs and kind of pull them out slowly that way. And so that is what I did. Um, that big old boy was the guilty culprit whose legs were going the wrong way. But what a, uh, I don't even know the words, man. Awesome, awesome experience. Once we got him out, then they just started coming out. And she never really um, acted uncomfortable. She was pushing and nothing was going on. So like I said, after the two and a half or so hours, we decided it was time for us to go in and do something. So once again, big thanks to Jamie's mom. She's always here supporting us and uh, helping us out when needs be. It's always nice to have another set of eyes, another mind to be thinking like, what should we do? You know, we don't have access to a vet locally. And you know, sometimes you can't afford, we can't afford to have a vet come out here um, so sometimes you need to become a vet or you need to become the builder. If you're building things, trying to save money when you're trying to homestead, this is not cheap and, uh, takes a lot of money to do these things. So sometimes you got to wear a lot of hats when you're, when you're doing this. And today we had to be a vet. So the video was super helpful. We watched it. I felt that tail. I knew exactly what was wrong and went in and we had to. And now there is, let's focus back in here. Now there is seven and we've got three girls and four boys. So what a crazy experience, man. It almost brings you to tears when you, you know, you help your animal out, you've helped the piglets out and now everybody is out and healthy. You always wonder if you wait too long, if it's gonna, if something comes out dead, if you would have went in earlier, made a decision earlier to go fix it, did, could you have saved it and fortunately for us everybody was okay so we also took this time chloe had some long long nails we don't want to flip our pigs and do their nails when they're pregnant but you can see we were able to get those nails trimmed up a lot nicer than they were without aggravating her or bugging her or stressing her out too much during the process but she has passed both placentas so we know we are done done for the done for the night at least with her litter and uh just crazy i'm at a loss for words how awesome that feeling was to go in there and feel what the problem was and be able to fix it so good healthy batch of piglets last time chloe had four this time she had seven same with delilah over there she had four the first time this time it was seven so summer litters are crazy well that one was crazy anyway but everybody is healthy jump over here across the fence to see our third and final summer litter large marge she's been out in her wallow today supposedly her due date is tomorrow so we shall see but uh whew, like i said crazy time but glad everyone is doing okay mama is doing great she's been singing to the pigs and everyone's nursing finding a teat and doing well so we'll keep an eye on eyes our eyes on these guys um keep an eye on mama make sure she's doing okay and uh just awesome cool experience wouldn't trade it for anything but we appreciate you guys as always following along sorry we missed a whole bunch of that but pig was more important than the video tonight so make sure you guys check us out on instagram and facebook don't forget to make the change all right, guys, we'll see you on the next video.